Hey, hey everybody, it's Mindy and uh, you're in a different location. Yeah, you're in my bedroom. I've only recorded one video ever in my bedroom on my bed. <laughs> and guess what? It was from the same company as this painting. <laughs> so there you go. Um, yeah, we're going to open this bad boy up and we're going to show you what I got. Are you ready? Are you ready? I mean, you see the size of this tube, right? Yeah. There we go. There's our painting. Any guesses? Any guesses at all what it is? I have some paperwork inside here. Yep, paperwork. Okay, let's see. I think that's it. Okay, let's see what my paperwork says. It says, well, it's my invoice, of course, you know. And it says, Dear Mindy, thank you for ordering this painting. It's our largest diamond painting. We worked really hard on this one and absolutely love it. Underline love. We hope you do too. We can't wait to see your video about it from Amy, the crafty wife. Okay. So yeah, you know, I'm an affiliate of Craftably. Yes, it's from Craftably. So I am an affiliate and I have purchased quite a few of their diamond paintings. It's sealed on both ends. Yes, it is. All right. And um, I ordered one of their large ones. I ordered the moonlight ocean scene and that one's pretty large but this one's even bigger some of you might know what it is already if you've looked at craftably site but this one this one here i i when i saw these two the two big ones i had to choose one i couldn't get both so craftably and i have a deal here they gave me a good price on this one so i could show it to you so that you can fall in love with it as well it's a fantastic painting um we want to show it some love they're doing a special deal, okay? They give me a deal to buy it, and they're giving you a deal to buy it. It is going to be 20% off on their website. It is the largest painting they have. It's the most expensive, of course, because it's the largest, but yeah, it's gorgeous. I can hardly wait to unroll it, okay? Are you ready to see it? Because I know that I am. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. It is called Lighthouse by the Shore. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm not certain I'm ready. It's got a couple pieces of plastic because it's so large, you know. I'm gonna just kinda tuck this corner under here for a second so that it will hopefully lay down for us while I unroll the rest of it. Okay, here it comes. Oh my goodness. Mm, there's the lighthouse. There's the lighthouse. All right, we gotta keep going though. We got all kinds of stuff in here. I have no idea what all that is. But let's keep going. Well, that's interesting. I have like some sheet. For, oh, I know what they are. I know what that is. Okay, I'll talk about that in a second. Okay, let's see. Do they seal up? They do. They seal. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. We're not done. No, we're not done. Hang on. I got to go to the other side of the camera now. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. We'll get there. You, oh my goodness, you guys, it doesn't even fit on my bed. Uh -huh. Okay, here's our drills. Like I said, it's got two sheets of plastic here because, you know, it's so big, one piece of plastic doesn't fit. Oh, wow. Just wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, and here's our drills. Two humongous bags of drills. Let's put those right there. There's my paperwork. Let's just set one up there, kind of hold it down a little bit. Look at that beauty. Is it gorgeous or what? It's gorgeous. Oh, it's beautiful. All right. Wow. Um, let's talk. Let's talk. What are the measurements? <laughs> um, if you want a mural for your house, here you go. There's a beautiful mural. Look at that. Look at that sky and this water over here purples and pinks that's going to be gorgeous oh my goodness it's going to be beautiful okay we have a legend over here it has 40 colors there's a legend there this is definitely one i'll be using the paper legend for <laughs> and there's a legend over here and here's my knife be careful don't whoa oh man <laughs> you guys <laughs> this is something directions okay there are directions they've got this nice direction sheet in all of their kits Tells you how to diamond paint. All right, very nice directions. That's gotta go over there. 
And here is the inventory sheet, which is a sticker. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the sticker still because I like the stickers on my jars, but I'll make a copy of it first because I'm going to need to have one of these handy because when you start working on this bad boy, you're just going to, you know, not going to be able to see the legends on the side, even though there's two, one on each side. All right. It is a licensed stock photo. It is round drill. It's 160 centimeters. 160 centimeters this way by 80 centimeters across. It's huge. Here is the picture. Now, this is not the whole picture in here. Sorry. This is just the main part. You know, we get to about here <laughs> on this picture, <laughs> but it's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Lighthouse by the shore. All right. So, yeah love it it's beautiful um they're going to be able to sell this to you for 20 percent off if i didn't say that already if you like a big painting a big beautiful gorgeous painting there's our symbols you can get this for 20 percent off once this video goes up they're going to uh, make that a live deal and you can get it isn't it fantastic i mean i'm in my bedroom right now and seriously you guys Okay, let me show you something. Let me just tilt you back a little bit. You're going to see some junk on the dresser. Please ignore the junk on the dresser. But look, look at that wall right there. Look at that wall. <laughs> yeah, buddy, it's empty, right? It's empty. Wouldn't it be gorgeous to have this on that wall? It's fantastic. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Thank you, Craftably, for letting me get this at such a good price to show everybody. It's gorgeous. You know me in lighthouses. You know me in lighthouses. Um, I don't know where this lighthouse is. Um, it would be kind of cool to figure out what, light, what lighthouse that actually is. But then you have this rocky outcropping over here. A nice fall looking tree over there. And it's just stunning. It's gorgeous. That light. Okay, the light is right in a glare. I'm going to move it over a little bit. You've seen the sky, you've seen the water, this deep blue water. I'm going to move it over a little so you get the lighthouse a little better and it's not having such a glare. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Keep going just a little bit. That's about what you see in the thumbnail picture, about right there. <laughs> about two-thirds of it. But look at it. It's beautiful. Look at the lights shining through the tower and up at the light. Um... Yeah. Lighthouses are awesome. I, I'm just fascinated by them. In the old days, they had a light up at the top called a Fresnel lens. And those are pretty cool. They're very artistic pieces of glass work themselves. Just the lenses are, they're gorgeous. Little fence here. So cool. All right. Now this is what, okay, let's show you what the toolkit looks like in case you've never seen one. Um, we'll show you the toolkit. We have, I just have a hard time getting these out. They're in there tight. Whoops, there goes my wax. A white tray. We got some wax here, some heart waxes. That's a multi-placer, a multi-placer, a squishy for your pen. I'm trying to get my tweezers because my cap is off my tweezers and I want to see how sharp they are. Those are some sharp, sharp, sharp tweezers. I want to put my cap on before I get injured. I did drop my X-Acto knife onto the floor the other day and barely missed my foot. There's a pen. Uh, the wax pot went down here. That has their name on it. Wax in a little jar. Pretty cool. And they are sending some multi-placers, ladies and gentlemen. I love the multi-placers because look. You have the thin white ones, the opaque. So this one is a four placer and this one I believe is a seven. Yeah, seven, four and seven. There you go. You're probably gonna be able to use these on there, <laughs> right? Might need a bigger one even because I bet we're gonna have lots of color blocking. There is, you know, there is color blocking. There's not, there is, but this is not one color clearly. Like this is fours. And what is that? Like an equal sign. So there's multiple colors in the sky, even though it looks like color blocking. It's not. All right. Okay. 
not one color. All right, isn't it fantastic? It is just gorgeous. Wow. I hope some of you get this. This is, you know, this is a fantastic, fantastic painting. All right, so their drills come like this. Now, I appreciate this, I do. I appreciate they come all nice and neat like this. And look at how beautifully packed they are in their individual bags and they're just gorgeous in here. And this is all sealed. I appreciate that. It has the um, picture on there and it has the size 160 by 80. I know that's kind of blurring. Now, my issue is when I open these and show them to you, this bag can't be sealed back up. So I tried a Ziploc bag one day and I was like, that didn't really work because the Ziploc bag was too fat. Because if you want to roll this back up, you have to lay these drills in here pretty much like that, right? The drills have to lay in there just like that across the whole width of the canvas. So you can roll this back up and fit it back in that tube. They send it to you in that beautiful tube so you can save it and put it in there and it's protected, right? So I like to put it back in. I tried a Ziploc bag once I opened this up and I just couldn't get the Ziploc bag to fit in here properly thin enough so I could roll it back up and put it back in the tube. So they said they've added an addition of something else. Look what they've added. This is kind of cool. They tried to avoid the crinkly, crinkly plastic that we get in all of our kits. So they wanted something that wouldn't do that and something that was secure. So look what they have come up with. Look, they have a bag. This is a bag. It is sealed. This is a tape you can pull off and seal this back up. So you can put your drills in here and put them back in here. That's cool. So they can still be sealed up and protected. And when I put these back in, cause you can't put them back in here once you cut this, I'm gonna see if I can do probably three. It'll probably be three like here. Yeah, look, and they sent me three. Aren't they smart? <laughs> and then another set of drills can go here and I can keep them skinny, right? Keep them skinny like this so I can roll it back up. And then I'll be able to put these back in, seal them up again and put them in like that and roll them back up. Look, won't that be perfect? Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. You guys, you're smart. You got it. Okay. That was one of the suggestions I had. I know some other people thought that they loved the bag just the way it was because they would just take it out and store it in Ziploc, but I want to roll it back up. All right. Okay. Drills. Let's open these drills. There are 40 colors. Well, I'll let you see the drill field and stuff in a second, but let's look at these. I am fascinated with this part right down here. If you can see it, look at this, this beautiful pink down in here. Oh, it just keeps going. And the sky that is so purple and blue and look at those pinks and stuff. That's gorgeous. Those colors are going to be just gorgeous. Let's move it back though. We might get a glare again, but this bag of drills right here is, whoa. So these are our little, little pieces. Okay. And I'm not going to put these back in on camera at all. You guys It's kind of like toothpaste. I think you gotta squeeze them out. Maybe I don't know. They're not coming out. I don't have it open enough. Let's open it up the rest of the way and then they should kind of slide right on out. Okay. Watch. Let's see if we can do something cool here. Come on. Come on. I want them to just kind of slide out, you know, snake on out here. Come on, keep going. <laughs> They're trying. They're trying. Here we go. Here we go. All right, there. They kind of just slid out. There we go. Something like that. Okay, I'm going to zoom you in. Let's zoom you in so we can see some colors. All right, we're zooming, zooming. Okay, here's the beautiful colors. Now, we have reds, yellows, oranges. That's brown. That's no. Yeah, I think that's a brownish color. Yeah, brown. All right. There's another brownish color. Wait till I get to this other bag, you guys. You'll be like, whoa, they all have their numbers on them. So they look like this. Look at the oh, look at this handful. Just look at this handful of colors. Let's see if I can get it right. Look at that purple. Plum, pink, blue, beautiful. Look at all those colors. Gorgeous, right? We got a hot pink. Look at the hot pink color. That's pretty. 
the lighting in here is not as good as in my kitchen so you guys are gonna have to just you know bear with me here but look at now we're getting to some big bags 158 3354 that's a beautiful pink one purple 3865 another purple look at this and you think this is a big bag this is one of my favorite colors 208 one of my favorites think that's a big bag oh no 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 those are the little bags <laughs> yeah those are the little bags of drills okay these are the big boys mm -hmm. these are the big ones wait until you see this holy cow okay i'm glad they're all nice and sealed because whew, i gotta have drills everywhere all right we're getting a little bit bigger they have weights on them too 25.45 grams beautiful we have 21 grams of this beautiful pink kind of like a orangey pink here's our three tens 65 grams 65.62 grams doesn't look like there's that much black in this painting now does it apparently there is so. here's another one of my very favorite colors look they're kind of sealed nice and tight too 209 has 41 grams 333 has 40.77 grams look at the purples guys look at the purples and look at this guy Woo! right there i think that takes the cake it might be the biggest one remember that number 106.54 grams of this peach color it's a very light pinky peach color it looks more pink in natural light you're seeing it weird in the camera it looks more peach there but it's really more pink all right and then we have these two. Oh, oh, well okay <laughs> here's our winner winner right here because there's two not one two bags of 153 at 158 grams there you go there's the mostest right there isn't that something that's gonna take forever <laughs> that's gonna take forever will it be worth it absolutely is it gorgeous it's gorgeous can I see it on my wall right over there <laughs> you betcha <laughs> all right okay I told you I would show you the drill field I'm gonna just leave those there and I'm gonna package them up nice and neat in those nifty little bags they have over there but let's see if I can just turn this a little bit somehow get some drill field up here for you now this is a perfect part of the drill field to show you too if I can get it to focus and stuff let's see let's change our focus there it goes now this is dark this is the dark water now can you tell you're gonna need a light pad in the dark part I always say that darks you need a light pad okay I can't get it right it's poured glue so I'm not worried about doing any damage to it let's just I want to get this up here maybe we zoom in and maybe that's how we get it let's see all right let's see how far can we zoom we can zoom a ways okay so here it is there's the what no glare no glare come on there we go now you can see the symbols they're dark you can see them I'm gonna recommend the light pad in the dark part but they're clear okay how about the pink what's the pink look like now see how much clearer and easier the pink is to see see so the dark part just I'm recommending a light pad seriously because you're gonna need it they're not blurry or anything like that it's just dark all right so there it is you guys if you're into big paintings and you want a challenge um, this one is fantastic it's beautiful uh, yeah give it a shot try it out um, like I said 20% off okay so thank you craftably um, let's sell some lighthouses guys <laughs> all right <laughs> um, they're coming up with new stuff you guys oh my goodness I've been chit-chatting with them oh you guys are gonna be so excited new artists coming all kinds of new things uh, fantastic stuff they're trying to do over there um, hold tight hold tight you know they've upped their game 
and they've upped their orders because you guys are like selling them or just buying them out of stock. You know, this order that came in, it's, it's going pretty quickly. If you still want something, get over there, you know. They still have stuff available, but it's going, and they've already got their next order on the way. So hopefully it will be here, you know, before too long, within a month or so maybe. I don't know. But just wait. Just wait. New artists, new stuff, new, just, wow. Okay? Thank you, Craftably. Thank you. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I've got to say right now. Um, go get you a beautiful lighthouse. You know where mine's going. Right over there on that wall. <laughs> all right. Until next time, you guys, have a great day. Enjoy the great outdoors. You know, I really want to know what lighthouse this is. I'm going to see if I can do a little Google search and see if I can figure out where that lighthouse is actually at. So until next time, have a great day and I will talk to you all later. I hope you stayed tuned till the end. Welcome to Crisp Point Lighthouse. Oh, the whole time I was unboxing that painting and every time I've looked at that picture, I'm like, man, I love that lighthouse. And it just had this like familiar feel to it. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's in Michigan, you guys. And I have a great story to tell about this lighthouse. It's called Crisp Point. It's in Newberry, Michigan. Um, my husband and I ended up taking my parents up there because that is where my, my dad's aunt had her cabin that I just recently talked about with the bear and everything. This is so ironic, right? And um, they wanted to find my the aunt's cabin, which we did. And while we were up there, we decided to go to this lighthouse because it's right there in the same area. Now this is way up in the UP and it is desolate. There's a story about some women who tried to find their way to this lighthouse and they got lost for like days and days and uh, had to be rescued and survived on snacks and Girl Scout cookies they had in their car trying to get to this lighthouse. So we took my mom and dad up there and my mom actually climbed up in the tower. She's going to hate the picture I put in here because she doesn't like it. It was very windy. Her hair's blowing. She's just going to be mad, but she'll get over it. Now she won't be mad. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, we've been there. It was a great trip with my parents. We almost got stuck on a two track little trail trying to find this cabin that we were trying to find. And then we visited this lighthouse. Um, so there's a couple pictures after this that I took. And ironically, the last picture you will see is a picture that I took that day we were there of this lighthouse. And I've had it saved in a folder in my phone called diamond paintings. <laughs> and I always thought I would make a, a custom photo of a place that we have been, a lighthouse, a waterfall, some place we have visited in the UP and have a custom painting made of it. Guess what? <laughs> now I have one. It, wow. I was so surprised. I just kept having this feeling. I'm like, I need to know what that lighthouse is, you know? Now I know. And now you know. And there's my story of Chris Point Lighthouse. I hope you stay to the end to watch this part.